Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly reading for the 6th to the 13th of October. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new here, hello, hi, welcome. Thanks so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great queen, the more again, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's see what's going on for you, Gemini. Oh, butter. What's happening here, my love bugs? One, two, three, four, five, six. So, mm -hmm. Oh, vey. Okay, this is a this is a this hurts my heart a little bit, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, Gemini. Um, you know, I was reading somewhere, hold on. Gemini, for somebody this could be with an Aries, okay? That's also Mars energy, very fiery, very like, yeah, look at that. Five of swords and the emperor underneath there. I think some of you are having a crazy falling out or an ending. Wow, yeah, look at that. You're having an ending here. A, a very big tower moment um, with an Aries or somebody who demonstrates has heavy Aries characteristics, Gemini. Five of Swords, Emperor, and the Tower. You got the Page of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, Four of Cups, Three of Swords, Nine of Wands, Three of Wands. Oh my Lord Jesus. Oh boy. Worry. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. This almost feels to me like you may have feelings for this person, but you and this person are just innately different, have different values, different life goals, etc. And you've maybe realized that like you can't you can't be with this person anymore, or or you just don't want to be with this person anymore, honest. Um, for some of you, this person doesn't want to be with you. This is a lot of healing, uh, also a lot of revelations. I was reading somewhere in astrology that uh, this period right now for a lot of people can be very much activated and like realizing when relationships need to end right like relationships that have been going through a lot of difficulty where you know you're opening your eyes and going oh man like i need to i need to end this you know it's like it's not good for you anymore with that page of wands and the knight of pentacles it feels very up and down to be honest with you like it feels like it's a younger energy too so there may be an age gap or an age difference if this is resonating with you what i'm seeing above all of this though it just feels like somebody is more immature and somebody wants to move somebody's really like fast doesn't think very naive wants to just like do 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 like live in the moment and the other person's like i want to plan slow down like we gotta make sure that we're compatible here first. And so it's like these two polar opposites trying to trying to make it work. And, and you're both going in the same direction, but you're not going in the same direction, right? Like you're both going forward, but you're going this way. Okay. Um I think the universe is kind of trying to show you the way out though, honestly. I think the universe is really trying to show you every which way that this person is not for you, Gemini, and you are not for this person. I almost feel like the universe is warning some of you as well to be like, red light, red light, warning, warning, red flag, red flag. Do you guys know Couch Guy from TikTok? If you do, let me know in the comments. Um, if you're big on TikTok, um, you'll know what I'm talking about. But yeah, that's what this is feeling like. There's red lights, fucking red lights, red flags, whatever, everywhere, everywhere. And there's a part of you that's like, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I want to keep trying to work it out. I want to keep trying to, you know, give it my all. I want to keep trying to give it another chance. But the universe is really asking me to just move forward from this. Honestly, this could even be somebody that you never really like gotten into a deep relationship with. Maybe you had a crush on, maybe you had a connection on or connection with, but look at that. Yeah, this, this, oh man, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. It just, it feels hard. And there's a part of me that wants to cry, but I also feel like you're swallowing your pride and your tears. Like you're like, I'm not gonna cry over this person. Yeah, the wheel is here, the wheel is here. There's a lot of symbolism around third party situation. This could have literally been a guy or a girl or whatever cheating on you. Wheel of fortune, nine of swords, three of pentacles here, three of swords here, the three cups built. This could have been, and the five of swords is three people. Oh boy. Yeah, um, 
if there's any if you're going through this type of heartbreak or betrayal or pain right now with a particular aries individual this may even manifest itself towards the aries full moon on the 20th as well um but if this sounds like you and this is resonating with you gemini take a look at the description box below um i create crystal jewelry if you want to shop at, and pick up crystal amulets there's one called sana it's got aventurine green aventurine rose quartz and morganite and it's designed to help heal the heart if you have those crystals at home rose quartz morganite and um uh, green adventuring put them in your pocket okay just to heal malachite as well is great for healing this just feels like you can't you can't keep forcing a circle into a square or whatever the saying is, you know, a triangle. Yeah, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Oftentimes this card shows up for me when it's like two people who, and the more they get to know each other, maybe the more they don't, they don't, they don't, um, they, they realize they don't get along. And then you got new love. Like I said, this could be like a third party situation. Whoa. Okay, so stay optimistic about your love life is what fell. Passion and pay attention to the red flags. Stay optimistic about your love life. <sighs> this may be a thing where like there's a lot of lust, you know, like where there's a lot of like driven through the sacral chakra, but all the other chakras are not seeing anything else kind of thing. Getting to know each other. Can I get, can I, uh, yeah, the queen of wands reversed. I mean, I don't do reversals with the queen of wands with this kind of spread. I would say it's another woman. It's the other woman. Two of Wands and Seven of Wands for new love. Can I get one for passion, please? That was the Four of Cups, but it was reversed. I don't want to take it, and you already have it here. Queen of Cups, yeah, or King of Cups. There's a lot of feelings here, but it just feels like there's a lot of people also. Like, mm hmm It feels busy. And pay attention to the red flags. Four of Wands reversed. Like, it's almost like this person wants to have an affair with you, or maybe there was an affair. I don't know, man. Like... <sighs> This just feels complicated. It feels, um, how do I say this? It just feels like it's a lot of drama. And I don't think that it's things that you need in your life right now. I mean, if this is for you, go for it. Like whatever, if this is what your jam is, then you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna feel this. But like, I just feel like it's carrying a very heavy weight on you. And this may be the week where you're just like, yo, I need to, I need to pay attention to the red flags. I need to see what it is versus what I want it to be. All right, Gemini, that is your weekly reading. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes. I'm sorry it wasn't more uplifting. I mean, I'm, I am glad that you're moving away from this stuff because I just feel like you deserve healthy relationships and healthy love and this just ain't it. All right. Okay. We'll see you on the next one. See you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.